Francis Street. You know, it was outside the walls of old Dublin, and yet it's strange, it wasn't in the liberty of St. John, it wasn't in the liberty of Thomas's court in Denor, it wasn't in the Archbishop's liberty, nor it wasn't in the Dean's liberty. But the bulk of it belonged to a man by the name of Ralph Porter, and it was he was the man responsible for the Franciscan Foundation that gives its name to the street. This brings back memories of Johnny Ray, the halfpenny wafer out of the bucket and the drop of raspberry out of the big bottle. Sure, oh, Horace is nearly as old as Francis Street itself. It's a pity they had to knock down Much Hat's chemist to widen the road. The old Tibbo, sure, it was more than a picture house. It was a university where we learned all about the Blue Nile and the White Nile and Stanley and Livingston and things that we never learned in the schoolroom. That's where we used to queue there, up along the laneway there, and the usher with his belt off, beating us back, and we all clutching our fourpens and our orange. Dublin has a great tradition of markets. The people always sold in